Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD 2017 video. Uh, in this video we're going to be looking at how to produce orthographic drawings. Uh, and we're going to produce an orthographic drawing of this uh, object here that we've drawn in isometric. Uh, so that's what we're going to produce. Uh, now I've already got my layers set up on this drawing. Uh, so as you can see I've already got several of these made up that I've been using for different things. Um, if you're interested in how to create layers and what they're for, please see a previous video in this series uh, for information on how to do that. Uh, but right now uh, it's enough to know that we've got a construction layer which is really useful when you're producing orthographic drawings. Uh, so our construction layer, uh, uh, the line is continuous and the line weight is set to zero uh, which means that it will be uh, extremely narrow uh, which is uh, very useful uh, when you're drawing orthographic drawings. Um, so hopefully by this stage in your studies you're familiar with the terms uh, first angle projection and third angle projection. Uh, for this particular drawing we're going to be working in third angle projection uh, and again uh, more information on that uh, can be provided if you're not sure how that works. So let's look at how we're going to produce uh, this drawing first of all. So if we consider this to be the front face, this to be the top, and from this side uh, to be the side, uh, then we can make a start on producing this drawing. It's quite interesting because this is a tapering shape up here, uh, so that's going to produce some interesting uh, sort of visual effects when we produce this and draw this, and hopefully this will help you to see the value of using construction lines uh, in your drawing. One of the best things to do when you start off doing an orthographic drawing on AutoCAD or any, any CAD system that you're using uh, is to create the outline uh, of each side, create the overall dimensions of each side, the maximum dimensions if you like of each side uh, and then you know that everything that you need to create will be within that dimension. So let's start off here uh, by looking uh, at the front side. So the overall height of this object is going to be uh, 30 plus 65 which gives us 95 mil high and it's 70 mil wide so we can start off uh, by drawing that. So we're set on our construction layer. Now what we're going to do is put in a construction line. If you type in XL uh, then that will give you, uh, that's the shortcut for a construction line to so XL and then hit enter. Uh, now in this case uh, I want my um, uh, construction lines to be uh, vertical and horizontal so you can pick horizontal or vertical from here which is quite useful uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set uh, the ortho mode on and what that will do is it will keep my construction lines vertical and it means I, I won't have to keep chopping and changing between them so I'm going to start off uh, down here with my first construction line uh, so it can either go vertically, this is because I've got ortho mode on, you can set these to anything you want, but because I'm in ortho I can set that uh, to be ver uh, horizontal and this one to be vertical. So this uh, intersection here will be that corner of my line. Uh, so now what I want to do is if I use the offset command, so OFF space, and then I'm going to offset from uh, this line, uh, I want to offset the, the overall height of it, so that's going to be uh, 95 so type in it asks you down the bottom here what's the offset distance 95 and then I want to produce an offset line going up the ways uh, and and I want to do another offset line from this one uh, which will be 70 mil wide so I want my offset distance to be 70 so I'm just going to do that so that's the height and width of my uh, object that I'll be producing uh, what I'm now going to do is create uh, a space in between them uh, and in this case something around probably about 35 mil uh, will be sufficient so let's uh, change our offset value now uh, again a useful thing to bear in mind in uh, AutoCAD uh, is that if you want to repeat the last action uh, you've just got to hit enter or space and it will automatically uh, bring up the last command that you put in uh, just don't get yourself caught out with this because sometimes you might hit space and it will if the last thing you did was undo then that is what it will do if the last thing you did was erase something then it will bring up the erase option so you just need to bear that in mind when you're doing this if, if it throws up what appears to be odd commands so if I set this to 35mm uh, and offset that there and that there like that and then uh, because this will be the top view I want to put this width in here of 30 depth I should say so we will uh, offset by 30 to there and uh, we'll 
also be doing this view here over here so we can just uh, do the same thing again 30 across to there like that so that's going to be uh, the overall height of our object uh, and the overall uh, width and depth so we've got all that set up so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating our drawing uh, within these boxes here so if we now go to the object layer like this and put in a line I'm going to use a polyline for this so uh, type in PL for polyline uh, and I want this to be my front view here so again don't worry about the fact that this is all uh, filled in and there's no line going around there we'll be filling that in later let's put another polyline in here on the object layer and you can see very quickly that this is already thicker uh, than the um, construction lines that are surrounding it so that's quite nice so what we can do now is start filling in some of the detail on this front face here and then we can start to trim off some of this, these excess lines that we don't really need so uh, let's put in this uh, facet here uh, so we've got 70mm uh, by 30mm so we want to set this to 30mm so let's put uh, let's use the offset function uh, we can't use the offset function actually because this is a polyline that I've created so what we'll need to do is create uh, a line uh, that is 30mm um, off from here so let's create a line uh, hit L and we want to set this uh, we want to set it at 30mm from there uh, it's not worked uh, if we use our direct distance entry for this one uh, so we want this to be 30 and we want that to be uh, across to there which will be 70 so that's met up with that now now to get this feature in here this is a little bit tricky because this slopes and we don't really have an angle uh, here that we can use uh, and we've not got uh, a length for that actual piece uh, so this is potentially a little bit tricky so the way I'd approach this is I'd look at this uh, distance here and I'd say well from this uh, corner here to there is clearly 10 mil. so if I go back to my uh, construction layer I can put in another construction line, XL. I'm just going to turn my dynamic input off. Uh, I want my. Uh, so the, the easiest way to do this will be uh, the offset command on the construction line. I want to offset a distance of 10 mil, and I want to offset that line 10 mil, and then from there I want to offset uh, a line 15 mil to give me a centre to there, and then another line 15 mil to give me that edge. So if I uh, offset again, offset 15, and then from there we can offset 15 mil, and from there we can offset 15 mil. So that gives us our base points for this. It also gives us a center point up here. So what I will do at this stage uh, is I will look at uh, putting in here uh, a line. If I create a line, so if I go onto my object layer, and create a line that starts here and is 20 mil long uh, so let's turn on ortho mode so I want this to be 20 mil turn off my snaps there we go 20 uh, now although you can't see it there is a line there so I can select that line and what I'm now going to do is move it so that that line uh, is centered on that center line so if I select that line again M and move it from its center point which is there to there then that's now centered that line up so again you can't see it at the moment but if I now put a line in from here uh, up to here, turn off ortho mode uh, I can find the end of that line there which looks like that and I can find the end of that line there uh, not the centre line so I might just need to zoom in and find on this one so that's the centre line of there there we go, that's where I want that end point to be so I was just pressing tab there to cycle through uh, the available uh, snaps that were open to me Good, so that is uh, this uh, detail put in. Now we'll put this web in here. 
uh, which again is really nice and easy now because we've got a reference point here that we can snap from so we'll select that point and we'll come down to that end point there and that gives us our web so now although this is not looking very much like the drawing we want it to be uh, we can trim this down now so if we tr TR for trim and hit space and then select all uh, we can start to select that we'll turn the construction layer off because it's looking a little bit uh, right so if we go to the object layer uh, and then turn the construction layer off we can see there that that has uh, removed the uh, it's not removed the construction layer but it's turned the construction layer off so we can uh, we can trim without that being in the way so if we trim these off here and here and lose this here and here that is now the section uh, of that uh, line there of that uh, face there so that's quite useful so looking down from it on it from above uh, this is the outline that we're going to have so this is uh, this is quite nice but what we can do now is if we go back to our turn on our construction layer we can actually use this quite nicely now to create the uh, uh, layer that we want this to be to create the object here as as we need it to be so first things first obviously looking at this object from above we're going to have uh, a solid line going across here so let's go to our object layer and put in a line still in trim putting a line from there to there and putting a line from there to there so that uh, sums that one up and then what we've got to do is put in uh, this section here this detail here uh, from above uh, now again there's a couple of ways that we could look at doing this uh, a couple of quite interesting things we could do uh, we could choose to offset uh, one of our construction lines uh, from here we could create a construction line that passes through that point so if we go to our construction layer and type in XL uh, and then uh, create we want a vertical uh, line and we want it to pass through that point there like that and we might as well put one in there as well uh, while we're at it so these construction lines because they pass through that point they give us the outer edges of that so as I was saying if we draw a rectangle here uh, and we specify the dimensions of it so we'll, s we'll start it off here because this is going to help us uh, so let's specify the dimensions we want this to be 20 by 20 uh, and that's our uh, square there now immediately you'll notice that this is looking very weird and that's because uh, I've made the uh, schoolboy error of putting that on the construction layer but this is quite good because I can show you now all you've got to do if you want to move this onto a different layer is select it and then uh, select the layer that you want it to go on to so I want it to be on the object layer here like that so you can see it's immediately taken on the characteristics of the layer that I've moved it to we're still on the construction layer so I'm going to change this now to the object layer so I don't make that mistake again uh, and now we want to centralize that uh, in this uh, section here in this view here uh, so again a couple of ways of doing that let's uh, look at the move tool M space uh, I'm going to use the geometric center as my uh, as my uh, base point for this uh, and if I highlight that midpoint there of that and just drag that across to there and that's almost there so let's try that again so there's our midpoint which I've highlighted we want that to be lined up there and that's put that exactly where it needs to be and all we've got to do is fill in these lines here because you'll be able to see those edges going away so just the line tool from there to there the line tool from there to there the line tool from there to there and the line tool from there to there so that's uh, the top view of this section here completed uh, we just need to put in the web uh, which goes from here down to here so uh, again uh, we need to put this in uh, that web according to this is 10 millimeters wide so again a couple of ways that we could do this uh, let's look at doing it this way we're still on the object layer so that's good come from the center of there down to there now again looking at this there is no line there in the center but what we can do is use the offset tool so offset by 5 mil and I want to select that one there and that one there and then all we've got to do is just delete uh, that center line there and then because you wouldn't be able to see that line there because this is 
a solid object here. Uh, we simply just use the trim tool, select all, and trim that bit off there. Now again, this is starting to look a bit crowded with the construction lines on, so let's turn the construction lines off. And that's what the view uh, of this object from the top would look like. Now when it uh, comes to completing this side view, uh, what we can actually do is we can use many of the details that are uh, present on this drawing and on this drawing we can use to project onto here which is really quite useful. So if we put our construction uh, lines back on and this, this saves a lot of tedious measuring and, and messing about with commands and things like that. So if we look here we've got a square there and a square there. If we take a construction line, so let's go to our construction layer uh, and let's put in a construction line, Excel, uh, that goes from, it really, it, it normally comes from here out to here, but we just need to draw it going from there to there. Uh, and that's formed a 45 degree angle from the corner of uh, this uh, view uh, to here. So now all we've got to do is just use the construction layer to project the key points from here onto here. So, uh, for example, uh, let's put a construction line in. Uh, and let's make that construction line horizontal, HR there, uh, and let's have it so it's passing through that point, through, make sure I'm getting the right snap, that point, that point, and that point. And where these lines cross over these lines, we then create vertical construction lines. So vertical, and we want it to pass through that point, that point, uh, that point and that point and what that's done is it's projected uh, these reference points onto this view and this is actually how you would do um, drafting if you're doing it by hand on paper uh, you'd, you'd use this method because it saves an awful lot of tedious measuring uh, out down here and it keeps you drawing actually if anything probably more accurate because all you've got to do is draw straight lines to achieve this so let's uh, let's complete this view now so let's put a line in uh, we want to create uh, this uh, line here this solid line uh, the easiest way to do that is select that point and track that across to there and put it on there and again I've forgotten to change my layout so let's change that to object and let's make sure that we're working on the object layer now uh, and as we say all we've got to do now is project these points uh, remember where these lines come from so that line there uh, meets up with that point there so this line crosses over with this line so we want to uh, mirror what's going on up there down here so we put a line from there down to there uh, this point here crosses over the 45 degree line and drops down here so we want to put a uh, line in there like that uh, and then we want to put this uh, web in as we'd see it from there so this web uh, extends along this line to here and down to here so we put that in there and we put that in there and then if we turn our construction layer off again and we just want to trim this up so TR space uh, select all and then trim 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 and trim uh, and there we've got our side view so that is how you produce uh, an orthographic drawing uh, in AutoCAD um, in reality this has taken 20 minutes to do that uh, in reality you'll be able to do this in, in much less time than that uh, when you're not uh, going through each step and explaining it uh, so that's how you produce an orthographic drawing so in the future we'll look at dimensioning how to add dimensions to this uh, and how to create uh, this within paper space so it can be printed out uh, as part of a, a proper uh, drawing uh, I hope this video has been useful to you uh, and I hope that you continue to enjoy and develop your CAD skills I look forward to seeing you on the next video goodbye